Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 132, Calculus with Applications, Section 13.4, Problem 2. This is Section 13.4, Problem Number 2. It says draw a graph of the following function and be sure to label the x and y coordinates of any critical points. And the function is f of x equals x squared minus 4x. So to get a graph, this is a seven step process and each of the seven steps are easy enough. Step one is we want to take the first derivative of the function. So f prime of x equals the x squared, the derivative will be 2x to the first. Again, the exponent of 2 comes down times the number in front. There's no number in front written, but it's understood to be 1. So 2 times 1 is 2 x to 1 less power becomes 2x to the first. The minus 4x has the derivative of minus 4. Again, when there's an x to the first power, um, the derivative is just the number in front. And don't lose the sign, so minus 4. So step 1, f prime of x equals 2x minus 4. Step 2, set the answer for the first derivative equal to 0. So 2x minus 4 equals 0. Easy step. <clears throat> Step three, solve for x. So let me bring the minus four over to the right side of the equals. So we'll go over as a plus four. Divide out to two. So four divided by two, I'm gonna have x equals two. So step four, take that x equals two, plug it back into f of x, not f prime, into f of x, and get a y that goes with it. So basically, I know my critical point has an x-coordinate of two. So it's over 2, but up or down how much, we're not sure until we put the 2 into the f of x. So I'm going to have f of 2 equals x squared becomes 2 squared minus 4 times x, so that becomes 4 times 2. So 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and I'm going to have 4 minus 8. So f of 2 is negative 4. So I have a critical point with an x-coordinate of positive 2 and a y-coordinate of negative 4. Step 5 is plot that point on the graph. So we have a graph ready to go. If I go over 2 and down 4, there's our critical point. So I have some type of a horizontal tangent line that occurs here. Right? It has a slope of 0. Now what I have to determine is is this critical point there for a minimum, or is this critical point there for a maximum? So to determine which case that is, what I'm going to do is find the height if I put in an x value of 1 and an x value of 3. If I just go 1 to the left and 1 to the right, I can find my critical, find my value of if it is going up or down. So let's plug in 1 and see what we get. And again, plug the 1 into f of x, not f prime. So f of 1 is 1 squared minus 4 times 1. So that's going to be 1 minus 4, which is negative 3. So if I go over 1, I am down 3. And now my critical value has an x-coordinate of 2. Let's go 1x over to the right, put in an x of 3, and see where the height is above or below. So f of 3, the x squared becomes 3 squared, and then minus 4 times x will be minus 4 times 3. So I'm going to have 9 minus 12. 9 minus 12 is negative 3. So if I go over 3, the y that goes with it is down 3. So that's telling me my critical point that's over 2 down 4 is there for a minimum. So my graph comes down, 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 down flattens out and then goes up, 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 up. And again, it's going to continue forever in each direction. <clears throat>